House Wild is a noble house from Rain House in the Stormlands. It is one of the principal houses sworn to House Baratheon of Storm's End, and before them, presumably the Storm Kings of House Durandon. We know very little about their pre-conquest history, or if they descend from First Men or Andals. However, it is most likely they are a mix of both, which is common among the Lords and Houses of the Stormlands. According to some sources, they blazon their arms with a blue-green maelstrom on gold with the words not yet known. Their seat is the Rain House, which sits on the eastern edge of the Rainwood, along the southern shore of Shipbreaker Bay, near the northeast tip of Cape Wrath. The first notable member of House Wild is Lady Corianne Wild, with her life and numerous scandals recorded in a book, A Caution for Young Girls. Corianne Wild was the daughter of Lord Morgan Wild. At the age of 13, she was deflowered by a surly lad from the stables, according to A Caution for Young Girls. Her lover was a handsome boy her own age, but according to the Rainhouse's maester, he was in his thirties and had numerous pox scars. Per both accounts, he was gelded and sent to the wall shortly afterwards. Corianne was confined to her chambers, where in 48 AC she gave birth to a bastard son who was soon sent away to Storm's End to be fostered by a castle steward and his wife. Few beyond the walls of the Rainhouse knew of her shame. In 50 AC, Corianne was summoned to King's Landing. Queen Regent Elisa Valarian was sending scepters and girls of noble birth to Dragonstone to be a household for her daughter, Princess Alassane Targaryen, and Corianne was chosen as a representative from the Stormlands. When the raven came for Corianne, her mother told her to let everyone believe she was a maiden and to never speak of her child. However, the truth was that Queen Alyssa and the Hand of the King, Lord Rogar Baratheon, were attempting to undo the secret marriage of the young King Jaehaerys and his sister and now wife, Alysanne, which at the time was unconsummated due to Alysanne's age. And the lady's mission was to try and persuade Alysanne to annul the marriage. It was not certain why Corianne was included, but a caution for young girls states that Lord Rogar, or perhaps his brother, Sir Boris, placed Corianne among these ladies with the instruction to bed King Jaehaerys in order to anger Alassane into undoing the marriage. If this was the case, the attempt failed. On the 15th day of the 6th moon of 50 AC, Corianne eloped with the married Sir Howard Bullock, the youngest son of a commander of Dragonstone's garrison. A fishing boat carried them to Driftmark, where they took a ship to Pentos, and then to the disputed lands, where Sir Howard joined the Free Company. In 53 AC, he died in Mere from a fall from his horse after a night of heavy drinking, and Corianne was left alone and penniless. The rest of her life has not been recorded in history. It is believed the tales she told the sellswords of the Free Company and the Magisters of Pentos to help spread gossip across the narrow sea about the marriage of Harris and Alassane. It is believed that in around 90 AC, the first copy of A Caution for Young Girls appeared in Westeros, a book of erotic allegations written by Lady Corianne herself. The book details a life of sin, suffering and slavery, in which Corianne had many erotic adventures, both in Westeros and in Essos. In the book, Corianne is a handmaiden to the Queen, the paramour of a young knight, and a camp follower in the disputed lands, a serving wrench in Mere, a mama in Tyrosh and the plaything of a corsair queen in the Basilisk Isles, a slave in Volantis, a handmaiden of a Carthine warlock, and the mistress of a pleasure house in Lys. At the end, Corianne repents her sins, becomes a scepter at the starry sept in Old Town, and writes the story of her life as a warning for all young maidens. Archmaester Gildane used the many variants of A Caution of Young Girls as a source for his famous history book, Fire and Blood being a history of the Targaryen kings of Westeros. Gildane attempts to determine why a shamed daughter of a frankly minor noble house was given such a position of honour as a lady-in-waiting for Queen Alassane when there were countless other many noble maidens without reproach who were available at the time. Thus, many historians have asked questions since but no plausible explanation has ever really been found, so Gildane could only conclude that the assertion in A Caution for Young Girls was true. Lord Rogar Baratheon would have known of Corianne's shame because he was House Wild's liege lord and due to her bastard son being placed at Storm's End, and thus he chose her to implicitly to try and seduce King Jaehaerys. 
However, whether she managed to actually do so is very much debatable, given Jaehaerys' character and evidence to the contrary, it seems unlikely to be true. The second notable member of House Wilde is Lord Jasper Wilde, who was the master of laws during the reign of the King Viserys I Targaryen and into the civil war known as the Dance of the Dragons, in which he supported the Greens and King Aegon II. In the end, he was executed as a traitor by Rhaenyra Targaryen when she eventually took King's Landing in 130 AC. Another notable member of the house is Sir Willem Wilde, who in 209 AC was a member of the King's Guard for King Daron II. As a result, the wild arms were spotted by Sir Duncan the Tall among the gathered heraldry at the Tawny at Ashford Meadow in 209 AC, fighting on behalf of Prince Arian Targaryen during his trial of seven at Ashford. During Robert's rebellion at the siege of Storm's End, Sir Willem Wilde attempted to sneak out of the castle and surrender to the besieging army of Lord Mace Tyrell. However, he was captured and later died in his cell. House Wilde do play a minor role in the main book series. In A Game of Thrones, a Sir Gladden Wilde is part of the force that Lord Eddard Stark sends to arrest Sir Gregor Clegane under the command of Beric Dondarrion. However, Gladden is killed by Lannister forces in the Battle of the Mummers Ford. During A Clash of Kings, according to some sources, Lord Caspar Wilde supports first Renly Baratheon and then Stannis Baratheon after Renly's death during the War of Five Kings. And finally, during a dance with dragons, Sir Ormond Wilde remains loyal to Stannis even after the defeat of the Battle of the Blackwater and joins him on his campaign in the north.